For years, I've been using GoPros at below freezing temperatures, but I've always had troubles when temperatures start getting below minus 10 degrees Celsius. But GoPros released a new battery that promises improved performance at temperatures at and below minus 10 degrees Celsius. And today, I'm out in the freezing cold to test this battery out and see how cold it can go. An early test done by DC Rainmaker put a standard GoPro battery and the Enduro battery into a freezer at minus 18 degrees Celsius for over six hours. And then when he put them into GoPro Hero 10s to see how well they perform. The standard battery, it died right away, whereas the Enduro battery was able to turn on the GoPro and then record for almost a full hour. But minus 18 isn't cold enough for me. I wanna test these two batteries at even colder temperatures. And luckily, it's minus 25 degrees Celsius right now and the temperature is dropping quickly. It'll probably hit minus 30 within the next hour. And I'm gonna leave both these batteries, the standard battery and the Enduro battery, out on this picnic table while I set up my tent for some winter camping because not only did I decide to test out a GoPro at these temperatures, I'm also gonna be sleeping overnight in a tent with temperatures forecast to get down to minus 40 degrees Celsius tonight. Crazy, I don't know, maybe. But afterwards, we're gonna get these batteries into the GoPro, see whether they even turn the GoPro on, and then if they do, how long they'll record for. What's interesting with the Enduro battery is that it's the same size as the standard battery and it has the same battery capacity at 1720 milliamp hours. So GoPro is using some sort of technology that I haven't really been able to find any information about in order to increase performance with the Enduro battery. The way to tell the difference between the Enduro battery and the standard battery is that the Enduro battery has white caps on it, whereas the standard battery is blue. I got my tent all set up and I was just thinking, even if the Enduro battery can't perform at minus 25, minus 30 degrees Celsius, even be able to perform at minus 18 degrees Celsius is a game changer. If you like to ski, snowshoe, do any sort of really cold winter activity, then the new GoPro Enduro battery is gonna be a game changer for you. Ooh, it's gotten cold. Thermometer is saying almost minus 30. It's pretty much there. So let's get these batteries inside the GoPro and see how they do because I want to get into my hot tent over there and warm up. But we'll try the standard battery first. So these have been out for just over an hour in the freezing cold. So we've got the, the standard battery in there. Let's see what happens when I tr try to turn it on here. Nothing. <laughs> It won't even, won't, it's not even trying to turn on right now. So standard battery failed <laughs> at minus 30. There's just, yeah, it's just not even trying to turn on. When DC Rainmaker did his test at minus 18, with the standard battery, the GoPro at least turned on for about five seconds and then decided to die. So I just put the Enduro battery in there. Let's see how that does. Oh, it's turning on. Wow, so we got a cold battery alert. That's pretty standard. When I use a standard battery at minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus around there, I usually get that cold battery alert and then it keeps running. So I have the GoPro set to 4K 60 wide mode. Not much stabilization. It's already dropped to 90% battery, but let's see how long it can record for. So I just turned, turned the record button on and the battery looked and the battery just turned off. So as soon as I tried to press record, it just decided to die, but let's try getting it on again. See what happens here. All right, so it's turning on this time and we'll see if I can get a recording out of it. Cold battery alert again. So I got it to start recording this time. Let's see see how long it lasts. Last time, I yeah. And, and it died. So the Enduro battery fails at minus 30 degrees Celsius. I was able to turn it on, but as soon as I press record, it just stopped doing anything and turned itself off. So kind of disappointing that it didn't get down to those temperatures, but it's still super impressive that it can get down to minus 20 degrees Celsius and still record for a full hour, especially after being in those temperatures for a long period of time. The standard battery just cannot do that. I've tried it and it just fails all the time. So the Enduro battery is still gonna be my go-to over the standard battery. It only costs $5 more. So for me, for the cold weather performance, as well as the regular temperature performance, it's worth investing in the Enduro battery. If you want to see 
see how I'm gonna perform in temperatures getting down to minus 40 tonight when I'm sleeping in that tent over there, then go check out a video post right up in the corner there. It's gonna document my entire really extreme winter camping journey. It's gonna go over everything that I'm trying to do, including my sleep system, in order to stay warm and comfortable tonight.